Welcome back to News 5 at 10 o'clock. Tonight we will review three key rulings from the U.S. Supreme Court. We'll begin with affirmative action. It has been controversial since it was first proposed back in the 1960s. Since then, some colleges have been using race as a factor to recruit and accept some students. A Supreme Court ruling today once again came down in favor of affirmative action on behalf of the University of Texas. Some still say this is a bad policy. Our Jacqueline Quinn takes a look at why some say it's needed at the University of South Alabama, a public school. The use of affirmative action to diversify a college's student body has been controversial, and it's been the focus of many lawsuits. Like most Americans, I don't believe that students should be treated differently based on their race. In the recent U.S. Supreme Court case, Abigail Fisher sued the University of Texas for being denied. Despite not meeting requirements, she argued other students with the same grades were admitted based on race. This Thursday, she lost. But according to the College Board, in Alabama, no public four-year university reported that race is considered in admissions. Our admissions uh, uh, standards are not race-based whatsoever. So we looked at the student body at the University of South Alabama. In 2015, it was 61 percent white, 22 percent African American, and the rest is of various backgrounds. It's changed since 1991 when whites made up 81 percent. So why then is there a checkbox for race on the application? Well, the Office of Admissions says that's to make sure they do have a diverse student body. Christopher Lynch with the University of South Alabama says recruiting targets diverse communities. If schools are struggling with, with the diversity, I can understand why they would want to reach out and try something new. I think what we're doing works here. Some students we talked with say it should be reviewed on a case-to-case -case basis. Um, I didn't go to a good public um, high school, and I just, I just know what I want to do with my life, so I just studied hard. I, I knew what I had to do, and I... Uh, I made sure that I had those requirements to be at the school. I'm going to say up to the standards, but certain schools have distractions, and sometimes people can't learn with those distractions. While it's still controversial, as we found out, many students may be more concerned about debt. In Mobile, Jacqueline Quinn, News 5. Eight states currently ban affirmative action at universities. They include California, Oklahoma, and Colorado, to name a few.